action. Hello and welcome to my home. My name is Nikki and this is my video demonstration attempting to show color three theory the Rachel Matthews way. To start off, here's a picture of a bunch of flowers, such flowers that I'd like to see in my garden. In this selection, we can see the prevailing color, however, is white. And, um, and that prevailing color ties in all the other blue, yellow, orange colors around it. So let's get into the garden and see what it really looks like and whether or not I have a predominant color in it. For real. This is my flower garden, and unfortunately there is no predominant color here whatsoever. It's sort of like a rainbow bright garden um, with yellows, yellows, pinks, and these four o'clocks that don't really open majority of the time. So if I had my way, these four o'clocks would really go, and the zinnias, hopefully, since they're annuals, will go as well. But last year, um, we thought the four o'clocks were dead, and they persisted. So if they come back, we have to find a way where we have pink, but also um, ameliorating it a little bit with maybe the blue, as Rachel suggested in her video. And hopefully that blue will come from some blue flax that I've grown. And that has a little bit of So really, um, they have been growing the most here. Marigolds, calendulas, nasturtiums that are orange, yellow um, squash flowers, and pumpkins. And I think these um, colors, the oranges and the yellows, are the predominant color, or hopefully will be the predominant color. 